Okay, we're ready to start turn number three of Legend of Drizzt Adventure number one. So things aren't going so well for Drizzt so far, but let's see if we can turn it around. All right, so we begin our hero phase, and Drizzt is adjacent to the Water Elemental and the Hypnotic Spirit. Let's see what we can do. So I, I'm perfectly happy to use a daily or a utility right now if it wouldn't help. So move your hero up to his or her speed and attack. That doesn't really help. What about this flask of oil? Mm, that doesn't really help. Attack one adjacent monster, and then place your stance token on this card. I'm not quite sure I understand these stance tokens. You can remove your stance token from this card when an adjacent monster hits your hero. If you do, reduce the damage. Okay, so if I use this ability, I can attack an adjacent monster with a plus six, and then I put the stance token on, and then the next time I get hit, I take one less damage. I'm not sure that's too helpful at the moment. I might have been able to use this Cloud of Darkness uh, prior in the pre in turn two. I didn't think about it. I'll keep that in mind. So I think our best option is just to use our uh, Icing Death attack to attack an adjacent monster. And what we'll do, because we have Expert Combatant, we'll attack the Water Elemental first. And if we get really lucky on our dice roll, we'll kill it. Because we'll be able to do, we'll be able to deal two damage to it, and then we'll be able to attack again, and we'll target the hypnotic spirit. So that'll be the plan. Luckily, the water elemental only has an AC of twelve, so there's a really good chance we're going to hit it. But a not so great chance of necessarily killing it in one shot. But let's give it a try. So we're targeting the water elemental first. Come on, get lucky one time. Man, that is... That's not even enough to hit it. That was a five. Five plus six is eleven. Man, I just missed. So unlucky. Alright, we're going to try again with our expert combatant. Water elemental. How do I get so unlucky on my rolls? Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so uh, we're not going to move. Hmm. I guess that's going to be it. Uh, I don't want to unlock more monsters, so we're not going to move. So we didn't use a healing surge. We did not move, but we did attack. And now, like I said, we're not going to move. We don't get a treasure. We did not explore, so there's no new tile, there's no new monster, no blessing or condition, but we will have a forced encounter. Um, no villain, of course, and then the hypnotic spirit, and then the water elemental will go. Okay, so let's draw the encounter. Let's see what we get. Volcanic Spray. Each hero within one tile of a volcanic vent takes one damage. Okay, so I don't have any tiles out right now that have a volcanic vent, so luckily this doesn't do anything. Something that finally works in our favor. Okay, so now the Hypnotic Spirit's going to activate. If it's within a tile, and it is, it moves, uh, it, it's just going to attack. So plus six on the attack. 8 and 6 is 14, so it misses, because we have a 16 armor class, so that's its go, it's done. Now the water elemental, if it's adjacent, which it is, it's going to attack with a slam, so let's hope it misses, but it's got a plus 8 on that attack, so we need to roll a 7 or lower. And no, it's going to hit 9 and 8 is 17. More, just, just more than enough to hit our armor class, so we're going to take two damage. All right, so we go from five down to three. And yeah, we're not looking too good. Uh, <laughs> but that's going to wrap it up for turn number three.